today we'll learn call by value and call by reference a function can be called in two ways one is call by value and call by reference now let's first try to understand what call by value is whenever we call a function the function will be called like this this line which i have written here this supposing i have a function called add and i am passing two parameters a and b there right now the function call is here and the function definition is in this place this is void add int x comma int y so this is where that function is being defined right so call by value basically what it does is it copies the value of the actual parameters into the formal parameters now here this a and b that we have written here these are called the actual parameters a and b that is <coughs> the calling function there whatever you put are called the actual parameters and this x and y which we have written here this one this is called the formal parameter so this is the function definition this a and b is coming into this x and y here so x and y becomes the formal parameters a and b is the actual parameter so what happens in call by value is see here you have this a this is the variable a and b these are the actual parameters fine so i am writing here a and this is b right when you call this particular function by call by value in the memory two more param uh, variables are made they are copies of a and b so they make copies of a and b and this copy is called x and this copy is called y so it is like Uh, if you have some document you make a photocopy of that right so the photocopy is different the original is different so if you try to make some changes in the photocopy by deleting something or adding something there that change will be there only in the photocopy document not in the original document so the same concept goes here this x and y that is the formal parameters are just a copy of the actual parameters whatever changes you make to the values of x and y will not be reflected in the original parameters or the actual parameters right so a and b are different x and y are different so this is the concept of call by value right now let's take one small example uh to make you understand how actually this works now here i'll write a small program okay i'll write this here hash include io stream dot h hash include conio dot h and here i'm giving the prototype of the function i call the function as double and it's accepting one integer this is the prototype of the function then i have the main method in the main method this is for clearing the screen as you all know int num i take a integer number then i ask this is c out enter the number and then end in only one l will come there c in num after that now here i say c out the value of the number entered by the user is and here i put this num right and then here now i am going to call that function double and i am going to pass this num inside this right so num is the actual parameter right now here after the function call i write the value of the number is num fine 
and then return this is the main function that I have written now I will be writing the uh, double function let me write it over here void double inside this I write int a and here inside this function we are going to double this number I say a is equal to a into a and see out the value of a is a and then I give a return statement here ok. So, this is the program which we have written to illustrate how a call by value works. Now, you can see here this part this is the prototype which accepts the integer parameter. I am entering the number here and this is the place where I am calling the function right ok. So, when I do this, this transfers the control to this place this is the function which you have written void double int a. Now, this num becomes a here and this a is double. So, a is equal to a into b a into a. Supposing the user says uh, sorry num is equal to the user enters the num as 10 right. So, here this particular c out statement here this will print the value 10 right. This 10 is passed to a and then a becomes 10 into 10 right a becomes 10 into 10. So, this becomes equal to 100. So, when I say value of a is this particular line this will give the value 100 right. Now, this num and this a are two different variables now right. So, this is num here this is 10 and this a has become 100 right ok this is a fine. Now, after the return statement I come back to this particular point the value of the number is num the value of the number is not changed the value of the number is still 10 only. So, this statement will print 10 right. So, this shows that whatever changes you make in the function double is only for this integer a and it is not reflected in the uh, variable num right. So, num and int a they are not the same they are copies right. So, when I say int a a is just a copy of num and whatever changes you make in a is only for a it does not get reflected in num. So, this is the basic uh, concept of call by value understood. Now, let us see what call by reference is ok here call by reference a reference to the original variable is passed. So, here what is happening is the reference is an alias which means a different name for the same variable. So, here I have supposing I have this variable a right and a reference is created means a reference is created, but that reference is referring to the same variable. It is only an alias. I give a I give a different name. I give an alias, but that both both are same. So if this is ten, this is also ten. If supposing I make this hundred, this will also become hundred. Do you understand? So, whatever changes you make in one variable is reflected back in the other variable because both are referencing, referencing to the same variable, they are not different right. So, the formal parameters are actually the aliases of the actual parameters and whatever changes we make in the formal parameters are reflected in the actual parameters and vice versa that you should remember right. So, here I have made a function call volume l comma b comma h right. Now, this is the function call and l b h are the actual parameters right. Function definition I will write uh, int a int b int c supposing I am using call by reference in this case this a b and c they are actually aliases of l b h and whatever changes you make in a b c will be reflected back in l b h ok. So, 
so in call by value it actually makes a copy of the variable here no copy is made it is just a reference to the actual variable right now let's write a small example here the same uh, example which we had written the same i'll take up but here we'll do it by uh, call by reference right so let's put it down hash include std uh, io stream dot h hash include conio dot h here see the way we write this uh, this call by reference the prototype uh, changes here i will write int ampersand this shows that it is a call by reference and i will be just passing the reference uh, here it is the same variable now the same thing void main and here i take a num c out enter a number end in and here I say C in num right then C out the number is the number is num so and after doing this now we are going to call the function now here I write double and here I put num ok right now here C out the number after the function call is num again and then I give a return statement fine now here I will write void double now see how we will write this int ampersand a that ampersand is the um, is the character which tells you that this variable is being passed by reference ok so here you do not have to do anything the same thing a is equal to a into a and here I write c out the value after doubling is a and then you give a return statement it's the same as the earlier one but the difference here is only that call by reference so here let's see now this is the prototype which you have to remember here with the ampersand and this is the function definition in ampersand a okay up to this point supposing the user enters supposing i have here num right the user enters 10 here so this will be giving the value 10 after that this function is called over here when this function is called I go to this place right a is equal to now here num and a are the same right so if I say 10 into 10 10 into 10 is 100 ok so this 100 is actually printed over here this is this will print you 100 and when I come back to this place after this when I say the number after the function call this 100 is nothing but this num so this also becomes 100 over here do you understand so when I say the number after the function call is num the num is also changed to 100 right so whatever change I make in this variable a that is passed to this variable num and that value is printed so the basic difference between call by value and call by reference is this uh, call by value does not reflect the changes and call by reference reflects the changes that's all i have to say in call by value and call by reference hope you have understood this thank you